Good evening, Brenvenue, welcome and das Vapersin. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tuesday the 4th of December. Uh, I am not long back from Scotland, um, so I did do a pre-record that was going to go out if I didn't get back. I've got back, but now I've got a few imaging issues, um, so I do apologise for those. We are going to uh, crack on. We have Show Us Yours coming up. I'll give you an update on yesterday's Children in Need raffle uh, and just show you who won what. Uh, we've got the results of the vape stick competition from last week and we've got the first part of the, I'll get it from over here, the first part of the uh, video I did in relation to testing the Enic. But before that, let's have a look at Show Is Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And this week's winner is Gino, with his picture entitled Vaping in Monaco. Well done, Gino. We'll organise you a bottle of juice. Show us yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And well done to Gino with his photo vaping in Monaco. Uh, it would have been really cool, wouldn't it, if there'd been a Grand Prix and they'd caught some cars. Uh, that would have been even better, but well done to Gino. We'll organise uh, him getting hooked up with John at Flavor Art UK for his bottle of juice. And if you would like to win a bottle of juice, you need to do is go there, vapor scene at vaportrails.tv. Send your pictures. Christmas is coming, so uh, how about some festive pictures? I do have one already, uh, strangely enough. So uh, get them in before Christmas and we'll see what we can do. Now, let's go back to that shot. Um, I've changed my camera positions now, so I'm looking over here to see what I'm doing next, uh, just so you know. Uh, we are going to go into the first part of uh, a nicotine testing video that I've done, based on this kit which I purchased from eSig Wizard um, for about £15. Uh, and we're going to have a look at a test using 75 milligram VG based Enic. Uh, now, I think I've done it right. Have a look you can have a look and see what you think um, and the results are rather interesting so let's have a look at it now so here we are with what you get in the nicotine testing kit from eSig Wizard it all comes in this lovely little plastic container which you're going to also use to mix in so I'll get rid of that lid for the moment. You get a bottle of 0.12N sulfuric acid. You get a bottle of uh, bromoethyl blue um, colouring agent. You get two syringes, and these are both 3ml syringes, both with um, a needle. Uh, and the instructions you can find on the website on www.eliquidtest.com forward slash instructions uh, and there's a few videos as well on uh, on YouTube but I thought we would do a few tests and the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to test some 75 milligram nicotine um, and the only thing that you don't get in the kit well, there's two things you don't get in a kit. A, you don't get uh, the actual nicotine to test. Um, and B, you don't get 
any distilled water. And I looked around for distilled water and where to buy it from. Uh, and you can buy it from eBay and places and it works out it's about seven pounds for a litre. Um, you don't need huge amounts of it though so you know 500 mils will do but it was suggested that I used deionized water and that there is 10 millilitres of deionized water um, and distilled water by its very nature is already deionized but there is obviously less impurities in that um, but I'm looking at a real world scenario here and what you've got in the house and you've probably got some deionized water uh, and I've tested this already so this is the second time I've done this test so what we're going to do is first of all I'm going to put the needle on that one I'm not going to put the needle on this one and I'm going to measure out from my bottle of nicotine one milliliter and it's very important you get your measurements right um, and get rid of air bubbles etc in the syringe because these measurements have to be spot on otherwise you're not going to get the right result um, and I'll just measure that out and got it all over my fingers so I'm just going to wipe my fingers and also wipe the syringe so I've got one mil of 75 milligram VG based nicotine liquid I've got here 10 milliliters of deionized water and they reckon use between 10 and 15 percent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add there's different ways of doing it you can add the nicotine into here then add your deionized or distilled water into there and, and mix it up but I'm going to put the nicotine straight into the water just because it's easier that way and then I'm just going to swirl that around and mix it between the two until all the nicotine is mixed into the water uh, and I found this to be a better option because the 75 milligram nicotine is really really thick and it takes you forever to mix it thoroughly in with the water and now you can see there's none left in this cup and it's all mixed nicely in here and it's a lovely little yellow colour at the moment so I'll put that to one side we're then going to add it says between six and eight drops so because we're only doing a one milliliter test I'm going to add six drops so one two three four five six so that's six drops of the colour reagent the bromothormal blue and now we need to swirl that around to mix that in and you can see now we have a blue solution not unlike you get if you use one of those blue blocks in the toilet so that's that section done what we're going to do now is we're going to take our bottle of sulfuric acid now at this point I should just warn you that this is acid it's very very weak acid and it's not going to burn through things like alien blood however if you've got a cut and you get it in a cut it's going to sting um, and if, if you've got um, if you get it under your fingernails it could possibly sting so you could wear gloves I'm not wearing gloves um, but I'm just going to advise you that there is a possibility of minor irritation especially if you suffer from psoriasis on your hands or something like that so I'm going to put my little syringe in and I'm going to take out over three mils and that is so we can knock all the air out of the syringe and get it to the top and then squirt the rest of this out until we get to three millilitres so now we have exactly three mils of 0.12n sulfuric acid and we're going to add this into our solution now I happen to know that it's going to take more than three millilitres to turn this the colour we need 
So I've just taken it down to half a mil and I'm going to swirl it around and you can see it's still blue. So I'm going to add the rest of the three millilitres and you can see in places it is turning yellow and it has turned a lighter shade of blue. I'm now going to take another three millilitres from the bottle of acid. And I'm just tapping the needle to get rid of any air bubbles. And I can see one or two popping up. I feel like a junkie. <laughs> and then I'm just going to squeeze that down. Got one more air bubble to get rid of. And then I think we're there. Okay, so. I'm just going to put the lid on the acid. I'm going to move that out of the way. So we've now got another three millilitres of the acid solution. And now we're going to start adding this at 0.1 of a millimetre at uh, a millilitre at a time. So that's 0.1. That's 0 0.2. 0 0.3. Actually, that's 0.4. <laughs> I've gone a bit faster than I thought. It's 0.5. And you can see we're beginning to turn into a different colour. 0.6. And we've still got some green in there, so I'm going to go another. So that's 0.7. And I think that is pretty much the right colour. That is a lovely yellow colour. It's not green. In fact, I think I'm just going to go one more. I'm going to go down to point 0.8. Yeah, that's much better. So, that is a really nice yellow colour. Not unlike a urine sample, strangely enough. So, we've used... I've gone down to... 2.2 millilitres on my syringe so that means I've used 3 millilitres and then I've used another 0.8 so 3.8 millilitres in total and before I do anything else I'm just going to put the rest of this acid back in the bottle and then it's out of the way so there we have it we have the colour change to the right colour. And now we've got two options. We can either go to a pre-made chart. I'm just going to go to that on the web. We can go to the pre-made chart and that will tell us if we're testing one millilitre, if we use three point eight millilitres of acid we get a nicotine content of 74 milligrams which is not bad because testing a one milliliter sample has got a plus or minus two to four milligram margin of error so that means that this could be 72 or this could be 76 so it's about in the ballpark because it should be 75 the other way of doing it is you use a calculator um, and for one milliliter of liquid you take the number of milliliters of acid used and you multiply it by 19.47. So if I do that now on my calculator we used 3.8 milliliters of acid and we're going to multiply that by 19.47 and that gives us a reading of 73.986 so as near as damn it 74 plus or minus between 2 and 4 that gives us either 72 or 76 so 75 is in the right ballpark so there you go that was the testing kit testing 
75 milligram VG nicotine base. What we'll do next time is we will test another nicotine test, but one that I've mixed down from 75 to 24. And we'll see if my calculations are correct on that one. So there you go. That was the 75 milligram test. Uh, and then next week I'll show you the, the, the next two tests. And the first one is the 24 milligram that I've made uh, from that 75 with some VG. And the second one is going to be on a vendor purchased flavored juice. Um, and you'll see what the results are for that. Now we are going to go into a uh, short ad break. When we come back, I think I'll do the uh, competition. Uh, and after that, Andy's back with some spiced mince pie juice. Mmm, see you in two. And now back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. And welcome back. I cut that short very, very, very little bit. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, I am now going to do the uh, draw for the competition last week, which was to win the vape stick kit with the, oops, almost dropped it, with the extra 900 milliamp battery and an extra 10 cartridges. So, I'm gonna just put that down there. I had five correct answers, which were by these lovely people. Da -da -da, over there, there we go. <laughs> so, we've got five winners there, one to five. Uh, and we're gonna to go to the marvelous random number generator. Now, as you saw last night on Tin Your Tip, uh, this is going to take a couple of seconds once I press the button. So I'm going to generate a number, and that number is going to be the person who wins. So, good luck to those five people. And we have a result. <laughs> the winner is number one, and number one is 
Miss JSS2566. Now, I've got you on the Vapor Scene email, so I will send you an email after the show and I'll get your address and I'll get this kit out to you. Well done. Uh, hopefully, I can bring you another competition soon if I can get some more things. Now, we are going to go over to Andy's house because he's going to tell us about some rather yummy spiced mint pie juice. Over to you, Andy. Juicy, 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 juicy. juicy, juicy. Hello people, Road Dog UK, Vapor Miss, doing the juice one again. Again from Rock Universal. Nice Greg, sent me down some stuff. Let me have a read of this. I need glasses, unfortunately. It's the age, you know. Spice mince pie flavour. Why do I do this to myself? It's you lot. Spice mince pie. 106. Same mod again. Did I say 106? That's over there. 306. Never confused. Right. 1, 2, 3. I'll give it an extra one. Yeah. 4. There we go. Always good when you can get the juice in the hole. That sounds for you lot sent to the corner immediately. Right. <laughs> That's actually quite nice. And yes, it does taste like a mince pie. It's got an odd, decadent weight. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> The horrible thing is, it could become hardly, uh, horribly addictive. Hmm. Hmm. Anybody got any cream? I'm quite impressed with that, to be fair. Um, spice mince pie. From Rock Universal. It's good. It's damn good. No individuality in there. It does just taste like a mince pie. Very good. <laughs> okay, short, sweet, and to the point. Little look at spice mince pie from Rock Universal. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Juicy, 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 juicy. Thank you very much, and. And Andy is going to be back with the third of his trilogy, one, two, three. Uh, and next week it is Jamaica ginger cake. And I have to say that spice mince pie sounds really nice. <laughs> All right, Chris, uh, good Christmas vape. So it uh, sounds very nice indeed. And if you're watching last night, you will know that Andy was one of the winners um, on the Children in Need raffle. So here is a little slide, just giving you an update on who won what. I'll put it up for. Uh, 15 seconds or so, here we go, 3, 2, 1, and as you can see, 10 bags, 10 winners, and in total, £1,466.25p raised for children in need. So, um, well done Mr Dibley, and well done everybody who bought tickets. Um, some of us didn't win, but hey, you know. We all contributed to Children in Need, which was the name of the game. Um, so well done. Um, will he do it next year? Probably. <laughs> I know it's a hell of a lot of work for Gary, but he does a great job. So uh, well done. Now we are going to go to my next little vapor trail. Uh, and I did this one last week when I was uh, going up to Scotland. Uh, again, uh, I seem to spend my life there. <laughs> um, so um, have a little look. It is I, Marco Van Basten, on another Marco's Vape Trails. And you can see my journey here, or whizzing around, uh, in my Rover 75, 
Uh, no, it's not a Nissan Micra. <laughs> I do read the chat after my show. I can't watch it um, as I'm going along because there's just so much going on and uh, I haven't really got enough time to look at it, but I do look at the chat afterwards to see what you've been up to in there. No lattes today. No, not yet. I might have one later on, but I do have four shots in it, so it's a bit more of a man's drink than, you know, just a milky coffee. Although I like milky coffee, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I digress. What am I using today? Well, I got myself a spinner after seeing Mr. Dawn using one and also Cat using one. And I thought, oh, that looks quite good, actually. Um, so I've had, a, I've had a little go today. Um, and I've been in between kind of 3.3 and 3.7. Um, and I like the fact that I uh, show you the voltages. So you pretty much know if you're between 4.3 and 4.8, you're around about 4.5. Um, and I've tried it on all the different um, voltages. I've also tried it with the tanker meter to see uh, if those voltages are the same. And they pretty much are, so that's quite good. Um, and I've got on here a Vision Mini Nova with some uh, XO Caramel Latte, that latte again, uh, from uh, Liberty Flights. Um, and it's rather nice. The uh, vapour production on this is brilliant, I have to say. That was at 3.8 volts. I'm going to turn it up. To what? To 4.3. Oh, and that is, um, that's quite harsh now. But I'm going to turn it back down again. I do find that around about 3.5, uh, either on the gripper or the live tube, when using this, and this has got a 1.8 ohm oil on it and this is a pre-made one it's not one of mine um, about around about 3.5 on this with this particular juice is about right for me and at that at that voltage at this resistance it, it does bring out the flavor of this particular juice um, so and this isn't a juicy juicy and it's not a hard overview either, it's kind of just what I'm using today uh, is the, the way I'm doing this one. Uh, and I rather like it, yeah, I have to say. So I'm going to try it a bit later on um, with something else. I've got some clear margins with me, some new ones. I've also got some other juices, so I'm going to put some of that on a bit later on. Uh, and I might even put on the, uh, the V3. Uh, and try some other stuff. I've got some coconut ice that I got uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, which is rather nice. Uh, and it's not actually to hand, but as usual on my trips, I've got various juices, devices, spare batteries. Um, Syringe with a needle tip for filling cartos. That's the way I prefer to do it. So I uh, will put something else on uh, there later on when I'm at my hotel. I've got a, a couple of hours after work, and then um, I am going off to Mr. Dawn's uh, to do the haze hour. Indeed. I've been on VT Talk before uh, via Skype, but I haven't been on the haze hour, and I won't be on Skype. I'll actually be in the studio, so that is going to be something um, I'm going to enjoy. It's going to be good. Because last night, um, Keith was on BT Talk because Jerry Stimson had to pull out at the last minute, uh, Ua misses. Uh, he had to pull off uh, the show um, because he had something else that, uh, that cropped up. So a little rescheduling took place, and Keith was on VT Talk last night. So uh, I'm going to be on the Haze Hour as I am only about five miles away from where Dave lives. So uh, thought it would be a good idea to hook up for a pint and a vape and to uh, do a show. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm back up the road to Scotland. Um, so uh, and I'm staying in Troon this time. Uh, I just chose a different hotel. So I'm by the coast 
and with all the wind and rain and what have you happening, it could be rather interesting. So I'm going to continue. I better get to work now. Uh, I'm going to continue with my spinner, uh, and um, I'll check back later. Tatty bye. And I've cut one shot too because I'm going over time. Um, this is my spinner now. Can you see that? I've broken it. <laughs> I'll tell you about that next week. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, tomorrow night, Dave is going to be on VT Talk. And he's going to be talking about some contentious topics. Is what is in our, uh, our Skype chat. Uh, and then he's back again on Thursday with the uh, Hayes Hour with Keith. Tin Your Tip is on Monday, and before that, it's Dave's Tackle Box on Sunday. I will see you a week today. Happy vaping. Peace out. I'm going. I'm going. I'm just getting a video. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>